Okay, sixth grade, lesson 32. This is on expanded notation and then also elapsed time. And this is going to come very um, in hand and helpful when you have to do a, determine um, in a matter of time. When you have to be somewhere, how much time you have left, things like that. So you're going to be learning that today. Um, but let's first do expanded notation. Um, you learned this last year, so you probably know it. But let's just quick review, okay? If I were to write the number 250 in expanded notation, do you remember what we would do? Oh, uh, we would write 200 mm -hmm. times 2 times 100. You were right. You already added it already. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to say this is in the ones place, tens place, hundreds place. That's the first thing you need to determine. Okay, and you're going to take the first number, 2, and you're going to say 2 times whatever place it's in. Ones, tens, hundreds. So you're going to say 100, which was, what is 2 times 100? 200, which you had already, you did 200 a while yeah. ago. Okay? Then you're going to put that in parentheses. There you do. Then you put a plus, and then we go to the next number. I'm going to write down the next number. 5 times, times 10. That's in the tens spot. Okay, so 1's tens, so I'm going to put 10. Put right, in parentheses. It. Is that it? And zeros, you're exactly right. You don't have to worry about zeros, so I don't actually have to keep going and putting a zero. But if it was 251. Yeah, let's go on and change it to 251, and what would I do? You would do one. One times, what place is this in? One. One. There you go. Okay? Okay. So this one's in the hundreds place, this one's in the tens place, this is in the ones place. Okay? So that is expanded notation. And if I actually did this problem, 2 times two, 100 is 200, plus 5 times 10 is 50, plus 1 times 1 is 1. 200 plus 50 plus 1 equals 251. Okay? But we don't ever have to do this kind of problem. That's just to check it to see if you did it right. Okay? So this is the correct answer in expanded notation. Let's try one more, and this time I'm going to give you the expanded form, and I want you to write it in standard notation, which is a number. Okay? Ready? Mm hmm I'm going to move over down here since I don't have enough space to write it out. There you go. Okay, so the first thing I would do, the first the one first one that's written, I figure out what place value it is, and that's a thousand. So what I'm gonna do is go ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Just like that. Okay? And then I look up here, what is in my thousands place? Five times a thousand. So I'm gonna put it in my thousand spot. Five. Then I look at this one. Two is in what spot? Hundreds. Hundreds. Ones, tens, hundreds. Okay, plus eight is in the ten spot. Uh-huh. And there is no one spot, which indicates it was a zero. Okay? So the answer is 5,280. And if we actually did the problem, five times a thousand would be five thousand. Plus two times a hundred is two hundred. Plus eight times ten is eighty. And if I added 5,000 plus 200 plus 80, I would get 5,280. Okay, pretty simple. All right, now, let's move into, I think, the good part of what we're going to be learning today. It's elapsed time, but it's really helpful because um, it helps you to determine how much time you have in between errands or something like that, okay? So, the first thing we need to understand is that when we're talking about a day, we divide the day up into two portions, a.m. and p.m., right? Now, if we're using military time or doctor yeah. time, like nursing, they use a 24-hour period, okay? And they do not go by a.m. and p.m., okay? After 12 o'clock lunch, which is 12 p.m., okay, and it keeps going to 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, all the way to 24, midnight, okay? Which would be 2400. You got it? Yeah. Okay, so what I want to show you is 
we're going to try to determine how much time is in between certain things. But we're going to use this because that's the way time is in our world, unless you're in the military or a nurse. Okay? You got it? So, let's stay with me. It says Jason started a marathon at 7.15 a.m. Okay? Now, well, the first thing I want to indicate is a.m. is from 1 o'clock in the morning all the way until 12 o'clock noon, almost 12 o'clock noon, 11.59 a.m. Okay? You got it? And then p.m. would be 12 o'clock noon, which is p.m., all the way to 11.59 p.m. at night. You get it? Okay, so this one, this is a.m. and this is p.m. You got it? Okay, so I probably should have put from 12 o'clock midnight, which is a.m., all the way to 11.59 in the morning right before lunch is a.m. And this is p.m. You get it? I thought 12 o'clock was the morning, though. Like, nope. It, when, it I, when we get to midnight, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's this one. A.m., 12 o'clock a.m. Oh. Okay. It was 11.59 p.m., and then when it, whoop, one more minute to midnight is when it starts a.m. Yeah. Okay? And it goes all the way until a.m. in the morning at 11.59, right before it turns noon, for us to eat lunch. You get it? Yep. Okay. Now, so let's go back to the problem. I needed to make sure you knew that before we even started, okay? So here's the question of the problem. Jason started the marathon at 7.15 a.m., he finished the race at 10.10 10 a.m. How long did it take Jason to run the marathon? Okay. Mm -hmm. What you're going to do is take the later, I want you to write this equation down, later minus the earlier time, later time minus the earlier time to figure out what the difference is. Remember, difference is? The answer to a subtraction problem. Earlier time. Okay. What is the later time? Uh, the later time is... Or you can think of the biggest number. That's fine, too. 10. 10, 10? 10. So, uh, it probably is good to think at later time because I could have said 2, 10 p.m. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I could have said 2, 10 p.m. Okay, and I'm going to teach you how to do this one later. Okay, when it's a number different. So let's go back to what we were doing. 10, 10 a.m. Okay, so we're going to put the later time up here. 10, 10. Got it? The earlier time was 7, 15. The difference. Now, in, when you're doing normal math, you would normally look at ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, etc. But when you're working with time, that's not how you look at numbers. Stay with me. I'm going to draw a little squiggly line down the middle, and you're going to look at it as minutes and hours. It's important for you to do that. So go and write that on your paper for you to do. Whenever you're looking at time and figuring out time, you always have to do hours and minutes. Okay. Got it? Okay. Now, here's what you need to see. Let me see if that's recording still. Okay, here's what you need to see, okay, is I need to take 15 minutes from how many minutes? From 10 minutes. Okay, so remember we're not looking at 5 goes into 0, crossing out the 10, all that. Remember, we're not doing that. You have to look at it different. So I'm asking myself, in the minutes form, I need to take 15 minutes from 10. Can I do that? 15 minutes? No. No. So I need to go over to my hours hand to help me out. I'm going to borrow an hour, which gives me nine. So I'm going to bring the hour over here and put it into the minutes. But I can't put it in hour form, just put a one. I have to put it in minute form. So if I take one hour from here and exchange it into minutes, how many minutes are in an hour? 60. 60. So I'm basically bringing 60 minutes from here to over here. Do you understand what I've done? Mm -hmm. So, if I add 60 minutes plus this 10, 
What do I have? 70. 70. So I'm going to erase my 60 and my 10 and put 70. You with me? Yep. Now, can I take 15 minutes from 70? Yep. Yeah. Yes. And I would end up getting 55, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, can I take 7 from 9? Yep. Yep. So, how, what was the question? How long did it take Jason to run the marathon? Two hours, 55 minutes. See how we did that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, I'm going to make it a little bit harder on you. Are you ready for this? Okay. okay. I'm going to erase this for a minute. Okay. We're number 10. This is Jason still. And let's, let's say his sister ran it or his brother. And they ran until 2.10 p.m. Okay, this is kind of getting hard, but I want to show you something, okay? When you see that one time is in a.m. and another time is in p.m., we need to do military time for just a minute. So, what do we know that 210 is in military? 210 is 1410. Very good, because 12 o'clock is, 12 o'clock p.m. is 12, and so then 1 o'clock would be 13, 2 o'clock would be 14. So that's so what you said. So 13 is when it goes to p.m. 2? Yes. 12, right? Instead of 1. and Right. It would, 13 would become, 1 would become 13. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what? 14? Yep. Okay. Now stay with me. Now we're doing later minus the earlier equals the difference. Okay. So what is the later time? Later time is 14 p.m. 14 p.m. 14, 10. Earliest time is? 7.15 a.m. Okay. Now, do we see it like a normal subtraction problem? No. No. You see this as minutes and this as hours. Okay. okay. Again, can I take 15 minutes from 10 minutes? Uh, no. So I have to borrow an hour. And bring an hour over here, which really converts to minutes, which is 60 minutes, to add it to this 10, which would again. give me 70. See that? Mm -hmm. 15 from 70 is 55. Yeah. 7 from 13 is 6. How long did it take? Uh, so you just bring the colon down, though? Yeah. How long did it take Jason's brother or sister to run? 6 hours and 55 minutes. Okay. Okay. When is important to change it? Change it. When is it important to change to military? Oh, when they're when these are different. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Because if I would put two up here, we couldn't have done anything. I have no other place to take from. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You can't just leave it as that. Okay, because. It's really not two. It didn't really go back down to the bottom the next day and all that. It actually was a few hours later. But because of how we do time, actually military time actually makes more sense. But because this is the way the world does it, okay, we have to um, move around. So let's do one more problem, okay? Here's what it says. What time is two and a half hours after... 10.43 a.m. Okay. Now, we could do this a very elementary way. and Or we could do it the way, a way that I just taught you. But let's do the elementary way first, okay? It's two hours and two and a half hours. So two hours and 30 minutes, which is two and a half, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's add... This is 10, so if I went up on hours, 10.43 would become 11.43, 12.43. 12.43. Yep. 12.43. That's just me doing the two hours. Okay? But we. this is in the morning, 10.43 a.m., and I crossed over, so now what is this? 12.43. 12.43 p.m. Yeah. Because I added two hours to the morning. Yeah. And it made it lunch past lunchtime. Isn't that weird? 
-hmm. Okay, but we've still got to add 30 minutes to this. Okay, this is the elementary way of doing it. You may not like it like this, and that's fine. Okay, so now I still need to add 30 minutes. Let's do it by 10 minute increments. So I'm going to go 10 minutes plus 10 minutes plus 10 minutes. Okay, what is 10 more minutes of this? 12.53 p.m. Check that one off. 10 more minutes. 63. 63, which is really because there's only 60 minutes. Oh, yeah, another hour. So that would be one hour, oh, three. Yeah. Because 60 and then three is left. And it went up. So it'd be 13 p.m. Let's just leave it in our the way that our time works in this world. Okay. Okay, and then let's do 10 more minutes. That's uh, 13. All right, so two hours and 30 minutes is that. You get it? Mm -hmm. That's the elementary way of thinking through things. Let's do it using the methods that I taught you just recently. Okay. 10.43 a.m., and I want to know... Um, what is what time is two and a half hours after this? So I'm going to add two and a half hours. I'm going to add two and a half hours to this because I want to know how many what time it is after two and a half hours, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, remember we have to see this as minutes and this is hours. You staying with me? Yeah. Okay. Forty three plus thirty is. One. Okay, well, wait, well, wait, wait. We'll do that in a minute. But just tell me what it is right now. Oh, it's, uh... 73, right? Yeah. Okay, let's leave it that way for just a minute, not to confuse ourselves. So I have 43 plus 30 minutes, and I get 73. We'll look at this in just a minute. 10 plus 2... Oh, that's, uh... 12. 12. Okay, do we have a time as 12.73? No. No. So what I want to do is, how many minutes can I take away from here and bring to this side? Uh, we'd have to count up from 60, which is 13. Right, okay, so I'm going to take away 60, 60 minutes. I'm going to take away 60 minutes, which would give me 13 left, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bring this 60 minutes over here. And we can make it 13 for military time, but what would 12 o'clock... Because right now we're at a.m. and we've had two and a half hours. We know that it's going to turn to p.m. Yeah. So what would I change if I add 60 It'd minutes to this to a 1? So what time is it after two and a half hours from 1043? It's 1. 1.13 1 13 p.m. Mm -hmm. Or 13, 13 military time. You got it? Yeah. Kind of hard. But you can do you can do it however you want. You can do the elementary way how we did two hours and then break it up into 10, 10, 10 for 30 minutes and mark it off each time. Mm -hmm. Or you can do it this way, which I think this is probably the best way to do it because it'll help you learn better to how to do things. Time. Yeah. Okay, that is lesson 32.